I'll stop with one thing and then I'll start with another one. It's like it's a never ending cycle of spending money. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to like just sit down and film again. I am so excited for today's video. I wanted to sort of include in this video a little bit of like a life update and share as well a lot of the pro like some of the products that I have just been loving so much these past few months while I was not making YouTube videos. I did do like a get ready with me video just like explaining where i've been but honestly like i was watching it and i was like so bored of myself i'm like i don't want to put this out so i did just want to include a little update here honestly i just needed a break but winter is always really hard for me like i hate winter in chicago like it's it's horrible it's the worst but i literally like refuse to move i refuse to leave so um, but yeah, I feel like this winter was really, really hard. I just felt like drained. I still feel drained, tired, a little depressed, but we are, we're pushing through. So yeah, that was pretty much why I hadn't really been wanting to post. I just didn't feel like doing all of this like i just didn't ha i wasn't like in the right headspace i feel like right now i'm really just like pushing myself and like being like okay like you need to like sit down and film like you got to get back into it like like i love doing youtube but it's like i just wasn't up for it these past few months i've also had so much work like so much freaking work and i've just been so tired but i need to just get back into this I've just been tired <laughs> well, anyway for today's video I wanted to sit down and share with you guys the products that I have been loving these past few months some of these um, are like newer in my life and then some of these I've just been using them so so much these past few months that I'm almost out of them um, but yeah I have a little bit of makeup I think I only have like one or two skincare products to talk about and then I do have like some body care and also some hair care stuff. I am going to be doing an updated skincare routine so you know we won't go into too much skincare for this video. Um, but these are the two products that I have been loving so so much these past few months. The first one is this one from well they're both from the Artistry Studio line. This is the Artistry Studio Zen Days Ahead Facial Oil 300 milligrams of CBD this oil is amazing. I'm actually almost done with it. I have about one third of it left. And I use this both in the morning time, but especially at nighttime. This thing just relaxes and soothes my skin, especially if I have like a breakout. I have like two breakouts that I don't know why they came out, but they just randomly came out today. They just felt like this one right here, like it kind of hurts. And I like put it over it and it just like, it really like soothes. It like like calmed it down like because it was hurting and it was it felt so good like massaging this in but i love this this leaves my skin looking and feeling like very glowy very hydrated just very soft and plump sometimes like if i put this on and i'm gonna do my makeup sometimes i'll even just like skip moisturizer just apply this skip primer and then just apply whatever foundation or bb cream i'm gonna go in with um and it just looks so glowy like you could see my skin like i didn't even need to apply so much highlighter just because like look at my skin like it's glowing and then i have also been using the spot on blemish dots these have salicylic acid in them and they are pretty much i'm gonna go ahead and open it just because i already i need to like use them but they come i believe you get like four packs i think you get like four of these and like one pack or something these just do the job with any breakouts so they're pretty much these like little stickers they're so cute i think i've gone through at least like four actual packs of these like i i love them so much pretty much just put them over the breakout that you have and then the next day like it's gone like it just like sucks out all of the gunk and it just disappears and i really like these because they're like clear so you could even like go out and have them on like without like any makeup on and stuff like that and like no one will notice because they're clear like i literally like sometimes like skip doing makeup just do my skincare and like go to work like that and have one of these all like throughout the day especially if it's like a very stubborn breakout for makeup my makeup preferences have definitely like changed a lot like i don't 
do like fully matte makeup anymore i don't do like full coverage like, you'll sort of like see with these products because it's like um i didn't used to use a lot of this stuff before and now it's like all i use so the first thing that i have just been loving so much i'm almost out of it this is the pure least perfect glow bb cream this has spf 30 i've mentioned this before on my channel um and it's this is my baby right now i am almost like done with it this is like the only like face like actual like face base product that i have been using these past few months i use it almost every single day before i go to work so there's days when i just put this on i do my brows and then that's it i just call it a day but i love this bb cream so much i got it last year in a boxy charm it's like the only thing that i use like th throughout the whole summer i've been using it these past few months and i'm just i love it so much like it gives such a good amount of coverage it blends so easily on the skin it lasts a lot and like this does this like stays put like there i have some foundations that they'll like disappear by the end of the day but this thing will literally like stay on all freaking day so some of the benefits is that it improves your skin complexion it softens and evens your skin tone it hydrates the skin and it helps reduce fine lines wrinkles dark spots dullness and other signs of aging and then it also prevents uh uva uvb damage just because it does have some spf 30 in it i think i have enough for probably Probably like the end of the week and I need to get like another BB cream because <laughs> this thing I think it's like 30 or 40 dollars I don't remember I've already tried other like BB cream slash tinted moisturizers I tried the Colourpop pretty fresh hate it I tried the Milani the new one I hated it as well I tried the new wet and wild one hated that thing as well so I haven't found like <laughs> my next bb cream but if i don't find anything like i think i'm just gonna have to like repurchase it just because i love it so much it's just so good and in combination with this um this is like the setting spray that just these two pair together like this like just like stays on the whole whole day um and then this is just the milani make it last setting spray this is supposed to give you up to a 16 hour wear and this you could actually use it to prime correct and set so what i like to do is that i'll go ahead and dot this first like all over my face and then i'll spray this i'll do like three sprays and then i'll like let it dry a little bit and then i'll go in and blend everything out and i feel like with that little trick it just sets that makeup into place and it refuses to budge so i did learn that trick on tiktok my makeup doesn't transfer at all onto my mask like it just it just stays in place um just because i feel like my makeup would always like disappear from like my cheeks um from my nose and it was just so gross and annoying like seeing my mask full of makeup but these two together amazing like this setting spray so good and you can see like i'm almost done with it like I have like about this left and I am probably going to repurchase this and I hate spending so much on a BB cream but I think I'm going to have to repurchase this as well. So yeah if you have been struggling with like keeping your makeup like on your actual skin and not like and you're over that whole like transferring onto your mask thing then definitely pick up the Milani make it last like this literally just sets everything into place so so nicely. I do also recommend the Morphe continually <laughs> continuous setting mist that one oh my goodness i finished it up but i haven't repurchased it because i have like a good amount of setting sprays to go through right now so i think this one too i'm i don't know i need to finish all my other setting sprays before i can like repurchase another one of these or the morphe ones i love these so much these are my babies i use these every almost every day now. let's talk about some brow products i have three products that i have been using so much that i have just been loving um and it's it's these three here so the first one that i go in with this is the artistry studio pacific proof brow perfector i have this one in the shade beach brown and this is pretty much like a brow gel i really like the spoolie on this thing and i really like it because it just like like i'll go in first and like fill in my brows with this and it just like sets my brows into place it adds color and i don't really have to go in with as much 
product than after like when I go in with like a pen or a pencil so I really like this it is also waterproof and it just like stays in place like it's so hard to get this off sometimes like then I have also been enjoying the NYX lift and snatch brow tint pen it did take me a while to get some to like get the hang of this product but I love it it is like a very thin pen and you could really like I just love how it just like fills in my brows it makes it look snatch you could do like those like hair like strokes um it's very pigmented and it's lasted me like a long time I bought this back in December and I use it almost every time that I do my brows and I do my brows like every day so with this like I use this like at least like every other day and I still like it, it still has a lot of products in it left another product that I just I love so much I don't think that I'm ever gonna stop using this this is the essence highlight eyebrow lifter and you can see like it's small like yeah me queda poquito I'm gonna have to like repurchase another one soon but this is a really great little like crayon that you could use to like highlight underneath your brow bone I like to use this instead of concealer I've I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before on my channel but I like to use this just to like clean up underneath the brow bone and sort of like lift that brow like it looks more like lifted looks cleaner more snatched um i just like going in with this just because with concealer it sometimes like looks a little bit cakey a little bit heavy underneath the brows and i try to go in with like a little bit less makeup like on an everyday basis and this just looks it just looks so nice like looks so clean easy to blend out i'll just like blend it out with my finger and then that's it i love these three these have just been my like go-to's right now. I love them. And then something that I didn't think that I would get into, but I have. Um, it's cream products. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before on my channel too. But this is the Fenty Beauty uh, Cream Bronzer. I have mine in the shade 02 Butter Biscuit. And I'm going to need a new one soon. But I use this too like almost every single day. Such a good cream. Oh my goodness, sorry. Such a good cream bronzer. It just looks so natural on the skin. Makes you look like nice and snatched. Hides that double chin sort of well. Um, and I love it. It's also very long wearing. It's very easy to blend. I like to apply my cream bronzer and blush with the ColourPop F2 brush. I believe it's called the blush brush or something like that, but I really like it. I love ColourPop brushes, like they're so bomb. I have some blushes that I've really been enjoying. The first one is from Milani. This is the Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. I have it in the shade 110 Nude Kiss. This is the one that I am wearing today. Such a pretty everyday shade, very pigmented, super pretty. They did launch like a good amount of shades in these. It's very, very pigmented. So go in with like a light hand, like don't go in with your brush and like tap it in so much just because these are very, very pigmented and it's so, so easy to end up looking like a clown. And I do also have two of the Morphe 2 what are these called wonder tint cheek and lip mousse so you can use these on the cheeks as well as the lips i just use them on the cheeks um i have two shades here i have fyp and also amaze and they're just like two pink shades i did also have the corally one but i ended up giving it to my sister just because i wasn't reaching for it and i've really been enjoying more like pinky blushes lately but yeah these are also like very easy to work with very long wearing so so pigmented i think these are like 12 dollars or so and you can find these either at morphe or at ulta and then a highlighter that i've also really been enjoying this is the artistry studio lights camera face stick and this is just a cream highlighter I love this like I am wearing it today this is just a swatch of the highlighter so so pretty you can build it up to be like intense like this or you can't just go in with like a little bit for like a more natural subtle look I have some hair care products that I want to talk about I've been testing out Kristen s and you can find this brand at Target at Ulta and it's like fairly affordable um, I believe like most of her stuff is like under $20 and it's actually like really good like it's it's like a very like clean brand um, and I have here the dry shampoo the style reviving dry shampoo this is for all hair types it's oil 
it's oil absorbing it's odor eliminating it's blow dry extending and it's a vitamin enriched i love this thing so much i have like completely ditched my not your mother's dry shampoo and i've just been using this i really like it just because it like cleans your hair really nicely and you don't feel the product in it and i feel like that's the problem with the not your mother's dry shampoo i would still like feel it and my hair would just feel gross instead of clean i think my hair was just like over it and then ever since i switched over to this one like i just i love it so much so been looking for a new one try this one out you will not regret it and then i was also looking for like a good like leave-in conditioner so i got this one this is the weightless shine leave-in conditioner from kristen s and it's for all hair types it's detangling it's softening strengthening moisture sealing and shine enhancing so what i do with this is that i'll like as soon as i'm like out of the shower i'll like dry i'll like dry it a little bit and then i'll like spray it like all over my hair like i i do not care i spray it all over my hair and then i just go ahead and like brush it out and then i'll just like let my hair air dry and i notice that it just looks and feels soft shiny and it also like helps with that like frizziness like usually like my hair if i let it like air dry like by itself it gets so so frizzy but then with this product like it just makes it not frizzy <laughs> i guess after i let it like air dry um i'll go in with the revlon the hair thing you know that revlon thing the one that like went viral on tiktok too and my hair just looks so 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 good i am still testing out the shampoo the conditioner and also the hair mask um but so far like i've i just fell in love with the dry shampoo and also the leave-in conditioner so if you've been looking for like a new brand something to try out from the drugstore that doesn't break the bank definitely definitely check out kristen s the last few products that i have to talk about are some body care products i've really been getting into like on tiktok like the whole like shower talk shower routine community thing like i love it so much like you guys should see my shower if you guys want to see how much stuff i have in my shower go watch one of my tiktoks like it's a lot it's been a very very unhealthy obsession like very unhealthy i actually stopped buying makeup for a good while because i was just buying body care like scrubs a lot of stuff from bad them body works um but yeah it's like you know i'll stop with one thing and then i'll start with another one it's like it's a never-ending cycle of spending money this is some of the stuff that i've been enjoying i did just um share this in my recent uh bath and body works haul but this has been like i've had this for a week and i've been using it almost every single day this is from the aromatherapy line this is 75 percent off right now at bath and body works um, and this is the Love by Bath & Body Works Rose Vanilla Moisturizing Body Lotion. I have also been using the body wash and I just love them. It knocks me out. Like it really just like relaxes me before I go to bed and I sleep so well. I am one of those people that can't take melatonin because I'll take it and yeah, it'll like knock me out really well. Like I'll sleep good but then the next day like I feel so groggy I feel so stupid I just want to sleep and I'll feel like that for like the whole like rest like for the whole like next day like it's just it's just not worth it so I've really just been trying to like use these sort of like products um and they just like really like relax me and I like sleep so so well but yeah I've been loving this one it smells so good too and it just feels so good on the body like oh, it just it smells so good um and then I have also been enjoying these products from J.R. Watkins so they did send me these products a few months ago I did a TikTok for them this video isn't sponsored or anything like that but I love this brand so so much they sent me their whole sleep line um I, am, I don't have everything here, but they did also send me the body wash, the body scrub, this other thing to put when you're like running a bath. What else did they send me? I think that was it. And then these three. So I have the Sleep Aromatherapy In Shower Mist. And with this, what you do is that when you have like the water running, you could just go ahead and like spray it in the shower. And then it just smells so, so good like it it sort of reminds me of like 
it's like the baby sister well i mean since it's blue it's the baby brother to the stress relief from bath and body works so if you don't like that scent because it's like it's very very strong i think you'll like this one this one is like the more like softer version of that one these are the bath and shower aroma aromatherapy tablets and with these i only have two left but these like last me like about a week in the shower and what i do is that i'll put them wherever like the water is hitting like a little bit and then with that it'll just sort of like make the tablet like the little scent just like go off and it just smells so good in the shower this is like a much stronger version of the where is it of the in shower mist i do also love the body oil mist like whenever i just use these like this it knocks me out so well this also just feels very moisturizing on the skin sometimes i'll use this after i shave my legs and it just feels so soft and i believe that is it like those are all of my <laughs> those are all the products that i've been loving these past few months i'll have the products listed down below in the description box for you guys um but yeah hopefully you guys are able to discover some new favorites that's why i like doing these videos um but yeah let me know what you guys have been enjoying as well and if anyone has like a recommendation for like a good bb cream to replace this thing please let me know please let me know or else i'm gonna have to repurchase this thing but yeah we'll see i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any video requests anything that you want to see on my channel let me know down below in the comment section make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you for taking the time to watch my video it means so so much and yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye